Hey you guys, in today's video we are going to be doing this look using the Kendall palette from Kylie Cosmetics. You guys, this look is everything. I love the lip especially. So if you want to see what I did to create this look and how I achieved this look and what products I use, just keep on watching. And I just want to be up to with you guys. I am having a little bit of asthma problems, so don't mind my voice. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so I did my brows with the Kai Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I really like this brow pomade. I've been using it ever since I got it, honestly. And now we're going to prime with our P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. I'm thinking about getting some more of these. What colors should I get you guys? Leave a comment down below. Because I really want to play with the colored ones as well because I really do like this base. So let me know what colors I should get down below because I don't pick colors very well. Like I sit there for hours. Today's palette, we're going to be using the Kendall palette from Kylie's Cosmetics. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to be going in with this green shade first. I don't have the palette in front of me, so sorry I'm not saying the names, but you know, I really don't feel good. But we're taking this Makeup of the Day brush. Um, I'll link everything down below for you guys, and we're going to pop this in the crease. These shadows definitely, I can say, need a wet base because they are on the pressed pigment side instead of the eyeshadow side so that's what i feel like they need to be able to work to the best of their ability they're not crappy shadows whatsoever i wasn't expecting them to be at all but um they do need a wet base because i feel like they need something to grab onto and next we're going to be taking the yellow just to put in our transition shade this this green was the crease i'm sorry i'm i'm like on albuterol and i cannot think straight the yellow is our transition color just to create a gradient from the green to our skin because you know i'm always i'm extra you always got to go that extra distance i'm using one of these morphe all i want brushes from the all i want brush set so yeah i don't really know what else to say besides that this palette is like something i cannot get my hands off of and the fact that I look so tan in videos now just blows my mind. Now we're going to go back and look at the green because of the fact that I always like to re-intensify my crease shade. I don't think this needs a re-intensifying, but I don't know why I did it. But there was a reason why I did it, so I did it anyways. I did not need it take that long of a breath to talk at the moment because that just really hurt my chest but anyways yeah i just want to re-intensify the shade that i went back in with the yellow and i re-blended it into the transition shade i re-blended that line between the green and the yellow just to you know make a good blend like 100 <laughs> percent but now we're going in with the p louise base in the shade rumor 2 once again and we're going to cut the crease i did not do i haven't done the look up look down look around kind of technique that i do in a long time you guys because i've been liking this more cut crease that hugs my eye in a way like it's just more i don't know it's the shape of my eye but i've been liking that instead we're gonna take this lime green shimmer shade on our finger and we are going to pop that all over the lid because I utilize not having any nails whenever I don't have any nails because I love how shadows apply with the finger so evenly, so smooth, and so pigmented. Now we're going to take this champagne gold shade and we're going to it's like a champ. I want to say it's like a an icy pink actually. We're going to take that and put it on the outer part of the cut crease. We are going to put that on there for some definition because the greens were too close together and I really was going to go with that shade that was closer to my skin color to do that, but I felt like I wanted a little bit more definition than that would give me. So I went in with this color instead. You can do any color you want, but this is just what color I use. Okay, and for liquid liner, I could not find a liquid liner that, you know, I, that matched me. So we're using the matte liquid lipstick lip kit from Kylie in the shade Iconic. And we are actually making a wing with this lipstick. Please use this to your caution because I'm not sure if it's eye safe, but it did not bother my eyes whatsoever. It dried down very matte. It stayed very well. I didn't have any type of problems with it and it was actually really easy to put on. 
And next, we're going with my own brand, Hidden Jewel Cosmetics. This is my summer collection shade, Mama Needs a Margarita. This is um, our Ultra Boost Glitters, and I apply it with the NYX Glitter Primer. And yeah, we're just patting the glitter primer on with our finger, and then putting some glitter on top of it just to give it some extra sparkle. I really love my glitters you guys if you want to use code girl boss all one word for 20 percent off go ahead and i'll link my store down below it's always in the description and for the face we're going with the picture perfect primer from makeup obsession honestly you guys i was like this thing is thick it's not coming out did i get a bad one but no this primer is just thick you only need the smallest bit but look how matte and airbrushed it made my skin you guys like i was really impressed like look at my face i was like oh okay i see you boo i was like okay where are my pores my pores are non-existent For foundation, we are going to be using the Makeup Obsession Quick Stick. I believe this is shade M07. And we are going to be, I just left this whole part in because how satisfying does that look? And like this formula is gel-like and it stays matte all day, but it's skin-like as well. It's so crazy and it's like, I think $9. And I'm just like kind of rolling it into my skin with this Juno & Co microfiber sponge, which works really well with cream foundations. I I feel like, but you guys, this foundation made my skin look so good. You should definitely check it out. And for concealer, I need a darker shade in this concealer. I know, do not come for me. I got a tan and none of my products worked. Well, it, it, they work, but none of them are like, you know, this new summertime tan that I got. But this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this concealer. It's one of my favorites. And yeah, I, I just, I just got to say, I, I do need a, a darker shade, but I dealt with what I had and that's all I got to say. And now we're using the iconic Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which they got a new shade, you guys. Shade Honey for medium skin tones. Definitely hope they send that to me soon because I need it because I'm really not used to being this dark, you guys. Like, it's really throwing me off so bad in my videos. I totally meant to do this part before I powdered my face down, but this is the new Kylie bronzer sticks. This is shade bronze tan. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it to see how it goes over foundation and powder. You guys, this is gel-like too. Like this is such a gel-like formula. And I was shook, like I want to use this again. I cannot wait to use this product again because of the fact that it, it just, I love the shade on me, honestly. And it was so effortless to blend out. It glided on so smoothly like check out these bronzer sticks i believe they're 16 dollars and i know i use a lot of kylie cosmetics but like i just love them and yes i bought i buy all their stuff with my own money so no shade no tea this is on my organic opinion the only thing i don't like from them is the lip kit and the shade no sleep that one's really patchy on me which i hate that it's patchy because it's such a pretty color but like I'm just using this brush and like patting into my skin and it definitely like blended out without disrupting my foundation. That's all I can ask for. Now I did go over it with Toasty Bronzer from Kylie because of the fact that I needed to set this because I already set my face prior to this on accident. So I just set it with um, Toasty because it's kind of too light for me at the moment. But I just needed some light to set the bronzer. And now we are going in with Ofra Rodeo Drive. If you don't have this highlighter, please get it if you love highlight because it is the best highlighter ever. Honestly, look at that. I am obsessed with the shade. 
You can ask anybody else that has it. They are obsessed with the shade. It's good for any skin complexion. And I just, I don't know. Sorry, I'm like really out of breath at the moment trying to do this voiceover. Now we are going in with the Peach Blush from Laura Mercier. Honestly, if you're looking for high-end blush, I really recommend you check these out. I'll link them down in the description. As always, I was about to stutter. But this is like the perfect peach. Like, I'm so serious. And it has the tiniest bit of glow in it. I really enjoy this blush. And I enjoy all of the blushes that they've sent me. They are absolutely lit. And now we are going in with... I'm going to pop on off-camera the nicole guerrero eye laura lashes they're so just dainty and you can see my eyeshadow through them so i really wanted to try these out and for the lower lash line i did take the orange shade and pop it on my lower lash line really quick i actually did something different on my lower lash line please give this video a like because of that reason because usually i just take what's left over in the brush pop it under there and boom i'm done i actually did something different you guys I felt so accomplished that I like literally stepped out of my comfort zone and I did blend that stuff out. I blended out that orange with the yellow to create a gradient and give it a little bit more pop. So like I said, give me a like for being non-lazy. And for lips today, we are taking the Hot Chai Lip Liner and the Birthday Suit Velvet Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to outline with this pencil that I've absolutely been obsessed with. I have not put it down. I've literally wore it for the last like four times I've done my makeup to be honest. That says something. <laughs> and then I've been doing this technique with my lips a lot too. I'm like obsessed with doing that as well. Like I just can't get over an ombre look at the moment. But yeah you guys that's the finished look. Thank you so much for coming to watch because I am so proud of this look. I'm obsessed with it. And yeah, I'm going to get off because I need to take a nebulizer treatment. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.